The President, please be seated. Mesdames et Messieurs, veuillez vous asseoir. Le Président, the court is now in session. Regarding the implementation of the CPK policy at S21, the Chamber is going to hear the testimony of uh, Mr. Craig Etchison. La déposition de Monsieur Craig Etchison. Again, the court officers, you are instructed to bring Je in the expert, Mr. Craig Etchison, into the court room. Introduire Monsieur Craig Etchison, l'expert, dans le prétoire. The President, uh, Mr. Craig Atchison, today you are invited uh, to give testimony as an expert. This testimony is to be continued uh, from what uh, you had already done nous last week, but due to the fact that uh, we uh, need uh, to hear Mr. Nayan Chanda, that's why we shifted uh, the, your testimony to today. So, the Chamber présence, would like to now give the floor to the representative of the prosecution to put uh, further questions to the expert. The floor is yours. Thank you, Mr. President. I have one or two more questions. Good afternoon, Dr. Atchison. I wonder if we can resume where we left off last week. And I was discussing with you document number 75 in your index, which is the meeting of Comrade TAL, T -A -L, Division 290 and Division 170, on the 16th of September 1976, ERN 00002233 through 00002235 in Khmer and 0018 through 92 in English and 00244073. through 09 in French. You were responding to questions regarding the communication structure, structure and what this document may illustrate. I'd like to now move on to discuss this document from the perspective of policy of the Communist Party of Kampuchea, and specifically the policy in respect of smashing of enemies. Before I ask you the question, perhaps if we can remind ourselves what the greffier 
read out last week. And I wonder, Mr. President, whether you are content for me to read out from the English as we have already heard it in translation in Khmer, or whether you wish, Mr. President, us to reread it again in Khmer. There are approximately eight lines that I would like this witness to consider. Que je souhaiterais présenter aux témoins pour recueillir son témoignage. The President, Le président. Uh, the greffier, have you located uh, that document? Je m'adresse au greffier. Avez-vous uh, retrouvé ce document? I have it on our co-prosecutor's screens in front of us. If the greffier, or with your honour's, Mr. President, your honour's direction. We can transfer the AV screens to our front bench. L'écran de manière à présenter ce document sur l'écran des moniteurs. The president, uh, the AV section are advised to link to the screen of the prosecutor. Procéder au basculement d'écran de manière à faire apparaître l'écran. Euh, présentant le document du coprocureur. The AV Le President. personnel are advised uh, to link to the monitor of the co-prosecutor so that uh, it can be projected. Faire basculer can you do that? Can you present the monitor du co-procureur? I think, Mr. President, we have to wait until a particular connection is disconnected and reconnected on this computer. I'm afraid I'm, I don't possess the technical know-how to, to do it myself. I'm sorry. I hope we can all see it now on the screen. Mr. President, I, don't, I do not propose the greffier reads everything in the large box, but perhaps if the greffier can be directed to read from the passage immediately after the list of names. And, uh, Mr. President, you will see there's a small hand just next to the paragraph uh, that I uh, request is read out aloud. À partir de ce, cet endroit ci de l'écran, si nous pouvons donner lecture. The president, the greffier is now instructed to read uh, the requested uh, paragraph starting from le paragraph à partir the requested de name. La the greffier, this requested name, the S21 and Division 170, met to decide, apart from the 11 people, the meeting conducted on the 14th, uh, the 15th of September. Based on the reason confirmed, 
the by the S21 and par, division S21 par uh, division yok chmu tang 29 thank you and if the graphier on uh, your honor's direction mr president le reste de la traduction du khmer vers la the president, uh, president, the greffier, is now instructed to uh, read uh, the paragraph again in a slower pace so that the interpreter can really uh, interpret uh, the paragraphs. Faire leur travail correctement ou dans de bonnes the greffier, this requested name, the S21 and Division 170, met to decide Apart yeah, from the 11 people, the meeting conducted uh, on the 15th of September uh, 1, uh, based uh, on the confirmation uh, of S21 and Division, uh, uh, there had been practical activities and based on the principle determined by the party, par the strings of party, contemptible chakra, le réseau uh, based de on the meeting, chakrai, uh, these names have to be cette, la base de notre réunion, also included, les noms de the ces 29 people of them. Être intégré. Thank you. Personnes. And if the greffier, Mr. President, could please be instructed uh, to read the next Maintenant, red box, the text that is contained in the red box, and I will place the hand next to the, the section that we wish to be read. L'encadré um, du texte suivant. The president, the, president uh, the greffier, is now instructed to read the next uh, highlight highlighted box. Number one, it is imperative to un, act according with our experiences in having previously taken these guys again and again. Et, uh, Do it um, as to not cause disruption in the unit of organization, grasp the unit of organization firmly in hand and do well in maintaining secrecy, concretely consult and discuss with S21 as regards operational methods for taking them and making assignments to administer the unit of organization while these guys are being removed. Uh, les unités organisationnelles pendant que c'est pour Thank organiser you. And la, please, Mr. President, um, if we can invite the greffier to read de, uh, the final text uh, in the red box. Que ces Thank soient you. Emmenées. Le coprocureur international, si nous pouvons de donner lecture maintenant yeah. de la dernière the president, uh, the partie is du texte encadré. To read le président, the last, uh, nous demandons maintenant au greffier de bien vouloir donner lecture du dernier paragraphe encadré en rouge. The greffier one. Le greffier 1, division 290. S21 and division must cooperate S21 and cease et la division doivent coopérer. Right from the et motor pool. Uh, division 170, S21 and the division must consult about the details of the concrete measures to take all the 40 people. Pratique à prendre concernant les 40 personnes. Thank you, Mr. President. Le coup procureur international, je vous remercie, Monsieur le Président. Okay, le, le Président. Uh, the President is uh, uh, giving the floor to Jacques Clavenge. Prêt en français a eu des difficultés pour tout uh, uh, traduire. Donc j'ai peur que nous n'ayons qu'une interprétation partielle de ce qui vient d'être lu. Interpreting Donc, je suis désolé, everything mais il me semble qu'il faudrait que cela soit relu et réinterprété. The entire passage should be read and reinterpreted. Your Honor, if necessary, we have the French translation that is on the case file, which can be read if that is a preferable course of conduct. C'est une, si vous le préférez, nous pouvons nous donner lecture de ce document. Okay, no, maybe we copy it today. 
the president, uh, the defense counsel, you take the floor. Mr. Hu. Mr. President, justement, Mr. The la traduction que yes, nous indeed, avons en français French, par écrit ne correspond writing, pas exactement à la traduction exactly que nous venons d'entendre. Et donc, je ne souhaite heard. pas qu'on lise so le document actuellement traduit en français, mais je souhaiterais que l'on relise en Khmer avec une traduction simultanée les deux derniers paragraphes qui viennent d'être lus, mais également le premier, parce que j'ai noté une différence importante entre la euh, traduction simultanée faite du premier paragraphe qui a été lu et ce que j'ai sous les yeux dans la traduction écrite en français. Donc, Monsieur le Président, si vous vouliez bien demander à ce qu'on relise le premier paragraphe qui avait été lu et les deux derniers. Merci, Monsieur le Président. The President, uh, the co-prosecutor, you take the floor. Thank you, Mr. President. I think one of the difficulties that the translators are having is that because of the relay, they are having to translate more quickly. And I don't know whether they have the French translation in front of them in the same way that it appears to me that the English translation translators have, I'm sorry, interpreters have in front of them. Um, but uh, I have no objection to um, the course of conduct proposed by uh, Maître Hall. And if uh, the defence wish the paragraphs to be re-read, um, let it be done. The Grafier, can you read the first part again? You can't start now, says the President. The names proposed was the result of the meetings decided by S21 and Division 170, excluding the 11 people whose names were decided already in a meeting held on the 17th of 15 of September. Based on the results and clarification from S21 and the division, and based on the concrete action, the principle of the organizations on the link of the Jackrait must be taken to consider in the meeting in order to take to decide on those 29 names. Ce qu'il va advenir de ces 29 noms. C'est important les problèmes de traduction. Mr. Hu. Je viens d'entendre dans mes écouteurs afin de décider ce qui va advenir de ces personnes. Tandis que dans la, le texte français que j'ai sous les yeux, est, il est indiqué les participants à la réunion approuvent l'arrestation de ces 29 personnes. C'est quand même pas tout à fait la même chose de dire on approuve l'arrestation ou de dire on doit décider ce qu'il doit advenir. Alors, j'ai juste besoin de savoir qu'est-ce qui est dit en Khmer. Je viens d'entendre la traduction simultanée où il est indiqué afin de décider ce qui doit advenir. Ça n'est pas la traduction française et je suppose que ça n'est pas non plus la traduction anglaise écrite 
une observation. It was just a remark. Mr. President, of course, when we are dealing with um, original documents in the submission of the co-prosecutors, the original language should be the authoritative, authoritative version. Um, I agree uh, with Maître Hu that there is a, a, a slight difference in the paper English translation that we have, which no doubt corresponds with, with what appears in the French. And in fact, in um, my version, the version that's on the case file, instead of S21 and Division 170 that was read out, I have S21 and Division 290. Uh, but be that as it may, my submission would be that the Khmer translation should stand as the authoritative uh, translation for this point. And uh, if there are any differences or difficulties of interpretation, uh, that can be taken into account when considering the responses of this witness to the question I'm about to put to him. The President, uh, the floor is yours. Mr. Hong Kong Soon. Donne la parole à Maître Thank you, Mr. President. Merci, Monsieur le Président. In the Khmer language, Dans from what it is read, it is very hard to understand. I would like to emphasize that when the cela, graph is read, and probably I would like to read so I can put some posit in between to make it easier to understand. Number uh, one. On ajouter quelques éléments pour rendre la lecture Based plus on the reason and confirmation from S21 and the division, they saw the concrete activities and based on the principles determined by the organization, the Chakra's links had to be taken. And then there, there was a pause. The meeting agreed to decide to take these extra 29 people. This is my understanding. So there was a break and a separate sentences. And what was proposed by the defense was that the chakra is linked was approved by the meeting. And I think this is up to the chambers to make decision. Et l'interprète française précise qu'il s'agit pour nous de faire une interprétation la plus littérale en sachant que nous n'entendons pas bien les termes que nous les comprenons. Vous pouvez faire votre observation regarding ce texte. Le Président, euh, avez-vous des observations sur ce texte Le accusé, M. le Président. Monsieur le Président. J'ai attendu attended the meeting in this particular document. So I know the details, and I would like to set light for the chamber. Based on my recollection and from my activity. First, I would like to talk about the principles in the documents of the Communist Party of Kampuchea, the decisions to smash the center army was decided by the general staff. That was outlined or in a document dated the 30th of March, 1975. I'm sorry, 1976. The center army was decided by the general staff. And what is an S-21? S21 was a unit under the direct supervision of the Standing Committee based on the Article 8 of the Statute of the Party. 
So I-21 would report to the upper echelon, and who was the upper echelon based on the document of October 75? That was to Sun so Sun Sen would have Sun-Sen all the reports and would call for the meeting, and that meeting would call the meeting for the committee with the participation of the general staff, that was brother 89, Sun Sen, and Tum. And then Comrade Saum, Nat, and that was the meeting at the time. And when the meeting was conducted for half a day in the morning, and when Sun Sen left, Brother 89 late, Brother 81 left the meeting, and Comrade Saum, Nat, and Comrade Sot, and his deputy, Matat, and Comrade Tao from 190 Division. If the Mr. President permits, Monsieur if you si move it a bit si to the back, you could <coughs> see that it was text, him who led the meeting. Vous pourrez voir ici inscrit le nom de uh, move présidence. a bit further to the back. Stop non, non, here. Stop there. Il faut redescendre. Move a bit downward. Redescendre. Redescendre dans le texte. The opinion of Brother 89. And then there was a continuation of the meeting. Brother 81 led the meeting. That was when Brother 81 chairs the meeting. And then there was Brother Saum. One and then Brother 170. And Comrade Nat and Kai. And the meeting was conducted as usual. Some, some, some. The, the president, Le president, could you slow down for the interpreter and for the record? Et pour les because we et have pour had this procédure. issue on this particular point since last week. Depuis la semaine dernière, nous avons ce problème de compréhension. The accused. The meeting continued. Brother 81 led the meeting. Examined the names to be taken from Division 290. That means the those in Sector 24 and the Grace linked. So at that time, Brother 89 already left, and only Brother 81 continues to lead the meeting. Please move down further. And the meeting conducted and led by Brother 81 was in the same way as in the morning. And Kamrat Sokt, who was the secretary le of 170 division. division 170. And then he asked, what was the ah, names of these people asked? So in conclusion, en conclusion the meeting agreed on the four names about of the division 290. That was the opinion of brother 81. And brother 81 asked me, Deutsch. But I would not have any meeting because I was not part of the committee. My name was not included. And I told him, no, I did not have any opinion. And then Brother Sam asked me too. So then Brother 81 continued. After the meeting, Comrade Sok and Kant, Division 170, had agreed to further request the 29th more names. And those are the names listed in the table. So that was what happened at the time during the meeting. It was a meeting of the general staff uh, and the committee's meeting. Although I was criminal amongst the 40 names, 
What was that? Because I beat them during my interrogation, and I ordered people to beat him to get a confession and then sent to Brother 89, who was my superior, based on the principle of the Standing Committee minute dated the 9th of October 1975. That's how I reported based on the chains of command and based on the designations by the, the party. My crime was to send those people to them to make decision. And here in this meeting in the afternoon, Brother 81 led the meeting, and that was the conclusion. So they made the decision, but I was the one who sent the names to them, and it is clear. And from that next point downward, they were the opinions of Brother 81. A slight the translation is uh, normal here. Could the screen be moved a bit further down so the interpreter can see? So these are the opinions of Brother 81, and it was not my opinion. It is inappropriate to include my name as the one who made the opinion in this meeting. I also reported to the co-investigating judges on this particular meeting. And then where would I go to wait for those people to be sent to me? And then I would assign Paul to arrange for this. And this is the, my confirmation on what happened and my activities at the time. And Mr. Gregerson, who is the expert, please don't forget that Brother 89 was there. And nobody would make decision then 89. And when Brother 89 left, he designated the chairmanship of the meeting to Brother 81. That is my submission to you, Mr. President, for allowing me to express my observation. Mr. President, Judge Lavange, the floor is yours. Vous avez Judge Lavergne, you were la able to Khmer read the Khmer version, version, which is the original version uh, that uh, ce vous demande, stands pas ce as the true one. So what we're asking you is not what you thought about what happened during this meeting, but what you can read. Can, do you read that the state of the state of the state qui l'est fait état qu'une décision d'inclure un certain nombre de personnes sur des listes de personnes destinées à être purgées. Est-ce que cette décision, est-ce que vous lisez que cette décision a été prise en se basant sur des opinions émises par S21 that were um, brought forth by S21 or uh, based on reasons that were document. brought up by S21. I'm asking you to tell me what you see in the document. The accused, Your Honor, all these names, were the names in the list which saw S21 reported to Son Sen a few days earlier. Therefore, the opinion and the work of S21 was included in that list. And as for the Forty names and the twenty-ninth names were extracted from the list which I reported to Sonsen. The list was not included in this document. Ne figure pas dans ce document. Une liste de quarante noms et de vingt-neuf noms. Disent les interprètes de Khmer en anglais. Mr. President, I would like to raise a few points. Pour être bien clair, dans le document en Khmer, tel qu'il a été présenté, tel qu'il est présenté à l'écran, 
Est-ce que, oui ou non, il est dit que la décision a été prise sur des raisons invoquées par S21 ou pas C'est la question. The accused at that time I did not express my opinion. However, S21 sent this list earlier, and during the meeting I did not express any opinion at all. Je ne vous demande pas quel est votre souvenir de ce qui s'est passé au cours de cette réunion. Je vous demande d'examiner de, ce qui est dans le document qui est présenté à l'écran et de nous dire si, dans ce document, il est dit que la décision, ou que certaines de décisions, ont été prises en se basant sur des raisons invoquées par S21. Je ne parle pas de vos souvenirs, je parle de ce qui est dans le document. Je ne parle pas de vos souvenirs, je parle de ce qui est dans le document. Les accusés, le témoin, dans cette liste, In this list, twenty-nine people were named. And let me move on. Could you move the screen down a bit further? Peut faire descendre l'écran un peu, passer à la suite du texte. Could you please move back to the text that was presented early on the screen? Stop here. Voilà, ce texte -là. These requested names were the decision de made decision in the meeting between S21 and Division 170. Division Besides the 11 people which the meetings already held, que la réunion avait déjà retenu le 15 septembre. septembre. Donc, à part 11 autres personnes décidées lors de la réunion du 15 septembre, dit la version française. There was a meeting on the 15th of September and a decision was already made and now they, they make another decision. Alors cette fois-ci, maintenant, on a affaire à une autre réunion qui prend une autre décision. Based on the list that I sent, so this de is the opinion of moi. Brother 81. And the mentioning of S21 here. Et la mention de S21 ici. Was when he reminded of the responsibility of S21 when a list was sent from S21. Lorsque S21 a envoyé une liste. I did not express my opinion here. These are the opinions of Brother 81. Vous avez les opinions du frère 81. I was present there and my list was there too, although I did not express my opinion at the time during the meeting. Mr. President, there appears to be a... The President, uh, we know the presence of Mr. Hong Kum Soon earlier, so... 
Mr. Hong Kong Soon, thank you, Mr. President. Uh, we, the civil party lawyers, are not sure of the shortcuts used uh, in that uh, document. I would like him to use the full name, uh, what he referred to as 89 or 81. Who were they then? The accused, could you elaborate further on the request uh, by uh, Mr. Hong Kong Soon regarding the secret uh, names, uh, for example, like 89, 81, who are they? The accused, your honor. The Standing Committee of the, the General Staff permanent. comprised of no, Brother 89 as the Secretary, secretary à savoir le grand frère 89. his revolutionary name was Kyo, his original Kyo. name was Son Sen. He was the member of the standing committee of the party center. Brother 81, his revolutionary name was Tom. Son alias revolutionnaire était Tom. His original name was Siet. Chai. It is Chai. He was the alternate member of the, the party center. A member suppléant du centre du parti. The, uh, the candidate uh, member of uh, the center. Ou un membre candidat du centre. He was the deputy secretary of the standing committee of the general staff. Du comité permanent de l'état major. In this meeting, no member meeting, of the general staff attended. De l'état major n'était présent. There were only the support staff of the uh, general staff, two of them attended uh, the meeting. They were Saum, Chon, and Nat, or Un Lon. Nat uh, was the former Nat secretary of S21. So I hope uh, I have voilà, responded to Mr. Hong Kong Soon's question. The president, uh, the co-prosecutor, you now take the floor. Mr. President, I think we're losing sight a little of uh, the Monsieur issue at hand and the question. Que le, um, le fil du sujet. With uh, the greatest um, of respect to uh, your honours, the accused is not an expert uh, translator. Le, uh, we have le, an expert translation an uh, expert. into both English and French, but in any event, uh, expert, the authoritative language, as I've said many times, is the Khmer. It will not surprise the bench that the co-prosecutors have a number of questions for the accused on this document, and, and those will be put, we submit, at the appropriate time. But whilst we have Dr. Etchison as a witness dealing with the issues of communication and policy, the co-prosecutors wished to proceed with the questions it was in, in attempting to put to the witness. Okay. The President, uh, you can now uh, proceed with the questioning.
Thank you, Mr. President. And perhaps if the AV can be instructed to switch the screens back to the normal view, please. Demander à l'équipe politique de bien vouloir faire basculer l'écran pour euh, faire apparaître à l'écran la vue normale du prétoire. We have heard read out le coproquin a number of passages. Nous avons lu à haute voix un I won't certain nombre de them. paragraphes. Je ne vais pas But les répéter. Mais quand il s'agit de l'implémentation the CPK policy de la politique du PCK, de smashing enemies, à savoir d'écraser. Les ennemis. Does this document and the passages that we have highlighted assist you in forming any conclusions about the initiative from where, from where the initiative came to make the arrests of particular persons within military units? I hope you follow my question. J'espère que vous avez bien compris ma question. Le yes, Mr. Prosecutor. Oui, I follow. Monsieur le coprocureur, j'ai suivi votre propos. It seems to me, looking at the me semble, larger context of this document, uh, which is connected to the affair of Sean Chakra, le document qui a trait à la one of the things Chakra, it illustrates Uh, about the process of purging du the DK de military purge, uh, au sein de is that démocratique, et que in his capacity as secretary of S21, de S21 the accused person would study the confessions and then prepare lists of names of persons to be purged he would then forward Ensuite, those lists of names to upper echelon who would approve or in some instances defer or in other instances perhaps not approve the purging of particular individuals. And then in this particular instance at the direction of upper echelon ah, l'instruction, selon l'instruction de l'échange supérieur, l'accusé a été emmené pour assister à une réunion de l'état major of où les modalités de mise en œuvre de cette purge ont été abordées and where division commanders et dans le cadre de laquelle were les commandants de division ont été de coopérer avec S21 c'est la mise en œuvre physique de l'opération, à savoir l'arrestation physique dans le cadre du processus de purge. Yes, thank you. Réponse du coup, Merci. In to oui, je vous remercie. What appears to be the prior consultation une consultation préalable S21 entre S21 et les Certainly divisions, on the face of the document. en tout cas. Certainement à la lecture that, des documents. How do you understand that that fits into the general pattern of purges within the military? Processus More specifically, de de what does that tell you, et plus if anything, about the specific role vous of S21? S'agissant du rôle spécifique de S21. Uh, Mr. Prosecutor, I'm not certain I Monsieur follow the purport of your question. I'll phrase it another way. Question. Je vais Are you chose. aware from your research whether there are de vos recherches, similar or whether there were similar si consultations y a eu, si between y des other security offices entre and divisions de et des divisions at this level, à ce niveau, as apparently is shown by this document. De, ce on peut voir à la de ce document. I am not aware, Mr. Prosecutor, Réponse, uh, of other security offices which engaged in this sort of process where there were extensive consultation with top-level organs 
of the Democratic Kampuchean State and the Revolutionary Army of Kampuchea General Staff. Thank you. I'd now like to turn to a different set of documents, four of which you refer to in your written report, and the nine surviving examples of this type the co-prosecutors have placed before the chamber last week. And I'm referring to the uh, letters sent from Sumet, the secretary of Division 502, letters sent from Sumet to Doik. At this stage, uh, Mr. President, the co-prosecutors would wish, as is consistent with uh, your ruling last week on the reading out or the summarizing of documents, the co-prosecutors would wish to read out summaries of the nine documents relating to communication of Sumate to Doik. And I understand that last week copies of the table of documents prepared by ourselves was handed to the trial chamber. Unfortunately, as it was prepared at, uh, in, at the last minute, we only have copies in English. But if uh, Mr. President would, uh, would allow us, we will read from this table. Mr. Wu, Mr. President, Mr. President, j'observe que certains de des documents figurés dans le rapport de M. Greg Etchison en juillet 2007. La défense a déjà indiqué qu'elle n'avait pas de difficulté pour les documents qui étaient dans le rapport de M. Etchison en juillet 2007. Par contre, la défense rappelle qu'à partir de juillet 2007, M. Etchison a été directement impliqué avec le bureau des procureurs dans la procédure d'instruction. La défense a demandé à ce que le témoignage de M. Etchison ne porte pas sur cette not, uh, phase focused là. On, uh, be not centered Je souhaiterais on this phase. que l'on s'en so tienne donc like, au rapport de M. Uh, Etchison de juillet 2007 et des documents qui sont annexés. Sinon, je ne vois Otherwise, pas comment M. Etchison peut avoir un regard objectif objective, uh, alors qu'il a directement participé du côté de l'accusation uh, Um, uh, with, à la procédure d'instruction. Donc, s'il vous plaît, with restons the, uh, bien team. sur le gentleman so, agrément que nous avions initié, à savoir la défense ne fera pas de difficultés tant que M. Etchison sera interrogé sur son rapport et sur les documents annexés à son rapport. Merci, M. le Président. Mr. President, le coprocureur international, Monsieur le Président, are here to nous sommes ici ascertain the truth. pour There are nine la surviving letters de la vérité. Il existe from Sumate to Doik, to the knowledge of the co-prosecutors. They are all on the case file, Ces and they ont all été versés. relate Tout to a six-month period between the 1st of April 1977 and the 4th of October 1977. A period, I might add, that this witness has already illustrated using graphs and tables 
to demonstrate the purges within Division 502. Mr. President, there are, are at least three reasons why all of these documents are relevant and should be discussed before the Chamber. Firstly, as stated by Dr. Etcheson in paragraph 1, 2, 3 of his written report, they establish the general principle that division secretaries had the authority to send prisoners within their unit to S21. Secondly, they establish the frequency with which the secretary of one division communicated with the accused on issues of security. And thirdly, Mr. President, they indicate, at least on their face, a high level of collaboration between the accused and division secretaries in the investigation and arrest of so-called enemies and traitors. And it is this third point the co-prosecutors submit and will submit in due course, which is strong evidence to support the proposition that the initiative to arrest members of the military came from the accused himself working in close collaboration with specific military secretaries. And this goes to the very heart of the case. Of course, it's contrary to the accused's position that he had no say in the arrest of victims and that it was always at his superior's request. But that position taken by the accused does not make the letters any re less relevant. The co-prosecutors simply do not understand that there is a legal basis for the defence objection to the admission of these letters. And in fact, Metro has not cited any relevant internal rule upon which such documents should be excluded or not discussed. When we have a witness here who is ready and able to testify, if the defence wish to make a point of the office in which the expert works, let them do so. But let us not lose sight of the fact that the trial chamber has already ruled that it is free to ask witnesses and experts any questions it sees fit, and in the submission of the co-prosecutors, it must be true for the parties, of course subject to a ruling from the court that it is relevant or repetitious or not suitable. Or the other reasons. The defence claims some unspecified right not to ask an expert witness about evidence that has come out in a judicial investigation. I'm sorry, but that is an absurdity. Permettez-moi de dire qu'il s'agit ici d'une absurdité. Comme je l'ai déjà dit, nous avons ici un témoin qui est en mesure de nous faire part de son expertise par rapport à des documents qui ont été versés au dossier. Est-ce qu'on ne devrait ne pas lui demander de les examiner uniquement Est-ce qu'on lui demander de faire semblant de, de nier l'existence de nonsense, Mr. President. Je pense que de la bêtise, and more to the point, tout is the very opposite of what this court is on a bound à to achieve the ascertainment of the truth. De cette cour qui est de faire we have la a developing de theme here, Et nous avons Mr. Un President, thème and it is becoming a problem. Et est un thème qui there appears to be a total disconnect 
between the accused's general admissions of responsibility. Déconnexion complète entre hand, ce que, d'un côté, l'accusé semble the apparent defense strategy in raising persistent objections when specific incriminating evidence, specific incriminating documents, get too close to what the accused said or did. If the defense is so eager for credit, for the conduct of the defense, for the cooperation, for the remorse, and for admissions of responsibility, then why the persistent objections to relevant documents? Mr. President, I apologize for taking some time over this, but it raises a general principle. Fait cette observation qui and the general principle uh, is that relevant documents should be admitted. Temps, Their weight can be assessed. The opportunity to comment libres. upon those documents Une fois que les documents sont ils from a, an expert can be appropriately valeur. explored. Et the defense can be given time to consider the documents et and then we can all move on in ascertaining the truth. But the co-prosecutors submit that such an objection from the defence is baseless and invite the co-prosecutors to continue with the questions on all of these documents. They are not a large number, a total of nine, and in the submission of the co-prosecutors establish a pattern, a pattern which must be put before the public and before this court. Schéma, um, Thank you. C'est ce schéma que nous souhaitons démontrer devant la Chambre. The President, Le Président. The civil party lawyers, if you wish to make your observations regarding the objections by the defense, and the request by the co-prosecutor to submit the nine documents. The floor is yours. Thank you, Mr. President. Very briefly, Mr. President, Mr. Wu made a gentleman agreement, but maybe with himself, or maybe with his team, but not with us. And I don't think he made any gentleman agreement with your honors or the prosecution. Your honors, Mr. Wu has stated his position that is true last week. We didn't agree. I don't think the prosecution agreed, and certainly you did not agree. If Alex Bates has a relevant document and he wants to ask questions on this document, he should be entitled, according to the rules, to summarize his document, have the document in, and then ask any questions he wants if these questions are relevant. And that is exactly what you said last Tuesday when Mr. Roux, maybe with another gentleman's agreement, tried to limit your own questions, and here is what you said. And I'm quoting 19 of May, page 31 of the draft transcript in English. The trial chamber is not bound by the indication given to the parties of scope of the testimony or report of an expert. The reason? The trial chamber of the parties have the right to ask questions that the trial chamber consider relevant. And you said, when answering such questions, the expert is not bound by his or her previous written statement of report or report. And that is exactly the position we submit should be the position in that case if there is a relevant question with a relevant document, um, the co-prosecutor should, of course, une pièce be entitled to un document have this document in front of your honors, and if the questions, or the questions are relevant, then they should be entitled to ask the question. And there was no gentleman's agreement whatsoever between the difference and anyone in this court on that regard. Le président. The President, uh, lawyers for Civil Party Group 2, the floor is yours. Yeah, thank you, uh, Mr. President. 
I would uh, like to remind everybody that uh, the so-called gentleman agreement, uh, what the defense mentioned, uh, referred to the annex of the report of the expert Dr. Etchison and meant only that these Annex documents can be considered as to be put before the chamber without reading them or summarizing them. That does not mean that other documents, evidence, which are already on the case file, can be put before the peuvent être présentés devant la chambre by reading or en entendant summarizing them ou en and that is exactly that what the exactement prosecution ce que decided in this case ont décidé de faire to en l'espèce put them before de the chamber and la chambre to summarize et them et présenter un résumé and i do not see any ground that convinces to exclude this procedure that the prosecutor had taken or wanted to take and want to take. And it was only the defense who insisted that they do not agree to other um, or to the work that the witness and expert witness has done after the report was finalized in July 2007. Um, but this is only a statement by the defense. The chamber has not taken any decision on this. In contrary, the chamber has made it clear how, in general and in this case, with the annex can be dealt with that it is be considered to be having been put before the chamber. That is all. And then the defense might raise any points that these documents are not in accordance with Rule 87 ne sont pas conformes, ne respectent pas la règle 87 qu'en conséquence il devrait être exclu des débats. I request the chamber to reject the objection of the defense. Thank you. The president, the lawyer for Civil Party Group 3, the floor is yours. Madam Sileko, avocat pour le groupe numéro 3, je vous donne la parole. J'interviens donc pour le groupe numéro 3. La production de ces pièces est demandée dans le but de faire apparaître la manifestation de la vérité. Tout ce qui va dans le sens de la manifestation de la vérité va dans le sens des victimes et est bon pour les parties civiles qui veulent savoir, qui veulent comprendre, qui veulent aussi qu'on leur explique et qui veulent surtout qu'on en finisse avec cette culture du secret dont on comprend très bien qu'elle a mis une chape sur ces années-là. Cette chape, cette chape de plomb est aujourd'hui en train de s'entrouvrir et il ne faut en rien utiliser des règles Euh, qui ne sont pas écrites, puisque toutes les, les, les règles de preuve sont admises, pour essayer de restreindre la manifestation de la vérité. Parce que, si l'on veut plus tard 
essayer de passer à un autre stade qui serait un stade de, de dialogue, de, je ne parle pas de réconciliation, mais de dialogue. Il faut d'abord que cette vérité apparaisse complètement et que tout soit mis à plat. Chacun ensuite se fera son opinion. Donc ça m'apparaît tout à fait essentiel que ces neuf pièces, ce qui d'ailleurs n'est pas, euh, je dirais, énorme, mais qui peuvent avoir un sens pour les victimes, puissent être produites dans les débats. President, le président, lawyer for Civil Party Group 4, you have any observation to make? If you have, the floor is yours. François Roux, the floor is yours. Maître Roux, je vous donne la parole. If you have any observation to make or any response? Merci, Monsieur le Président. Plusieurs courtes observations. Tout le monde aura bien sûr remarqué que chaque fois que la défense fait une objection, elle n'a pas seulement un contradicteur, mais de nombreux contradicteurs, pour ne pas dire de nombreux opposants. Je finis par me demander où est l'égalité des armes dans ce procès. Chaque fois qu'un témoin est interrogé, il y a au moins trois ou quatre examinations. Chaque fois que la défense fait des objections, il y a au moins trois ou quatre réponses à l'objection. Chacun appréciera. Trois réponses, et je ne dirai de personne qu'il dit des bêtises. Trois réponses. Premièrement, Duc est absolument prêt à répondre à toute question concernant les neuf déclarations. Et il confirme, bien entendu, qu'il est d'accord pour parler de ces neuf déclarations. Je rassure mes, mes confrères des partis civils, like Duc s'expliquera sur ces neuf déclarations, et vous Dike avez raison, cela doit concourir à la manifestation de la vérité. Et notamment, je rappelle qu'il a déjà été interrogé par les juges d'instruction, qu'il a déjà donné des réponses et que, bien entendu, nous discuterons dans cette audience des réponses déjà données et des compléments qu'il peut donner. Le débat pour lequel j'ai fait objection n'est pas là. Nous avons eu une discussion l'autre jour, d'abord en conférence de mise en état, ensuite en public, sur la question de la crédibilité de l'expert Etchesson. J'ai dit, et je croyais avoir été clair, que je ne mettais pas en question la crédibilité de l'expert Etchesson et des pièces annexées à son rapport dès lors qu'il n'était interrogé ici que sur son rapport. Et je l'ai précisé publiquement et j'avais cru que nous étions dans un gentleman agrément. Alors si maintenant Malgré mes if, objections now, et mes réserves, in spite si of my la Chambre estime qu'on peut interroger M. Greg Etchison sur les éléments Etchison dont il a eu connaissance alors qu'il était collaborateur de l'équipe d'accusation, pendant que la procédure d'instruction se déroulait, During the investigation phase, Mais ça sera la décision de la Chambre. That will be for the chamber to decide. Je ne doute pas un seul instant 
que cette décision sera abondamment commentée par la doctrine. Ce serait quand même, à ma connaissance, la première fois qu'on entendrait quelqu'un comme expert alors qu'il est membre de l'accusation. Mais si c'est la décision de la Chambre, je me suis contenté d'émettre des réserves All I'm saying par rapport is that I au droit et à l'équité. Troisième et dernière observation, si messieurs les coprocureurs If veulent qu'on parle des neuf lettres de M. Soumet, To talk of the adressé à Douk, est-ce que les coprocureurs peuvent expliquer à la Chambre pourquoi ils n'ont pas demandé au co-juge d'instruction de confronter Douk à M. Soumet à propos de ces documents Et je rejoins. Une demande faite par une équipe de parti civil. Les coprocureurs peuvent-ils nous expliquer ici pourquoi ils n'ont pas fait convoquer M. Soumet devant les juges d'instruction Pourquoi ils n'ont pas convoqué M. Soumet devant cette chambre C'est trop facile de vouloir aujourd'hui de poser des questions à l'accusé en l'absence de celui qui a rédigé ces lettres. Le rôle de la défense dans tout procès est de préserver les droits de l'homme. C'est encore ce que rappelait dernièrement, je crois l'avoir dit à la haie, le procureur Richard Goldstone. Une défense digne de ce nom doit protéger les droits de l'homme. Messieurs les coprocureurs, si vous voulez interroger Doc, faites-le, mais premièrement, faites-le hors la présence de votre collaborateur, M. Hutchison, et deuxièmement, faites-le en ayant convoqué M. Soumet. Je vous remercie. Thank you. No, Eleni. The President. Le President. The Chamber may take an adjournment La Chambre va for half an hour. Suspendre l'audience. And during the break, the Chamber will deliberate to make a decision regarding the objections of the defense concerning the nine documents uh, attempted uh, to be debated in the court. Concerning the nine documents that it is a question to debate in the court.